The Afghanistan refugee crisis, which started in 1979, has led to almost 6 million Afghans being forcibly displaced from their homes. Recently, as a result of American negligence, the Afghan crisis has grown and surpassed its previous magnitude and reached a new apex of suffering. The Taliban were able to perform a full takeover of government and military alike, resulting in the Sufan crisis. While the blame may primarily rests with the American government, the responsibility experience should be more extensive. Our collective responsibility should incite empathy, which in turn should evoke a sense of responsibility to offer succor whenever we can. To a certain extent, one could argue that it is primarily America's responsibility to respond to the Afghan refugee crisis, particularly when applied to the utilitarian mindset. Utilitarianism is an equitable viewpoint which argues that the best moral outcome within a situation is based upon the greatest good achieved for the greatest number. In this sense, it could be argued that if other countries, including America, benefit refugees, they should be encouraged can benefit refugees, they should be encouraged to do so. An example of a utilitarianist approach would be through offers response plan to the refugee crisis, which saw funding from other countries to provide aid to refugees. Another way in which it could be viewed to be America's responsibility is through the concept of collective or general responsibility. This theory suggests that as we are all members of humanity, we should empathise with those that thought this. One way in which this has already been put into practice is through other countries taking in Afghan refugees. The breaching of human rights should also encourage people to take responsibility to further a sense of equality. This presents the way in which other countries in America should feel inclined to offer assistance to, the, to, Afro, to Afghan refugees with our human rights, a thing we all hold in common, has been disrupted. However, within utilitarianism, the concept of good is subjective, therefore making it difficult to act upon any conception of the term good. While we may agree that we need to help the Afghan refugees collectively, this collective involvement may incite disagreement due to variances within different countries' policies and views. In turn, this subjectivity, coupled with different ideals and policies, makes deciding on how to act in a good manner with regard to the Afghan refugee crisis an arduous task. Furthermore, there are many inadequacies surrounding the doctrines of general and collective responsibility. For those in poverty, despite feeling responsibility, they cannot offer support as they merely have nothing to give. Moreover, it is perhaps naive to suggest all humans should feel enough responsibility to act upon a crisis happening so far away that arose due to others' negligence. The general responsibility holds good moral value but serves little practical purpose as those who feel responsible often do not have the means to help or simply lack the force of will to act on their feelings of responsibility. Despite this, it is believed that a large majority of people should be able to agree from the right action to which suffices for the best outcome possible. Only small minorities resist the opposing view of acting against the extraction of the Afghan refugees. In the sense with utilitarianism, we can settle for a large majority coherence that will still reduce the suffering of the refugees greatly. The total coherence is impossible and unreasonable in the democratic society in which we reside in. It is also widely believed that as individuals we are unable to have any effect on the crisis. However, despite the minority of those unable to offer assistance to the Afghan refugees, the large majority who feel compelled to offer aid have the resources to do so. For example, donating money to action aid and perhaps more advantages spreading the awareness of the issues faced. Responsibility falls heavily on the government to have the power and resources to facilitate such crises, and so applying pressure to the main source of aid is beneficial. Our government has the duty of upholding human rights, and most importantly, listening to the people of their country, and so society has a collective responsibility to ensure that the issue is brought to an In conclusion, while the US may be held primarily accountable to the crisis, humanity as a whole should feel responsible and inclined to provide help. Certain factors, such as the subjectivity of goods and the poverty of some, may mitigate the potential for aid, but ultimately, the overwhelming majority should be able to provide for the Afghan refugees.